Well, there is no camping in Solitude or Brighton. So we're gonna go to Park City um, and find some camping farther up in the mountains if we have to. So I wanna drive through um, Brighton. It looks really neat on the map, maybe. It's like a circle, basically. Turn left to South Brighton Loop. You do a loop through town, basically. Wow, and so it's like in a little bowl surrounded by mountains. Yeah, this area is just so neat. Ah, oh, Silver Lake Recreation Area only has picnic tables, no camping. It would be awesome if I could camp somewhere here. Like park in the parking lot, but it doesn't look like they allow it. the Brighton ski area it looks like. Hmm. Might not be very big. Can't really tell. Um, there's no campers hanging out here though for sure. No place to camp. Too bad, it would be awesome if you could park in some of these parking lots. Oh, there are a lot of ski lifts. Um, it is big. It's like the, the entire um, 270 degrees of this mountain is the ski area. This, this place looks like it'd be really fun. It's not as built up as Solitude, um, but the skiing might be better. Kind of surprises me it's not as built up. In one quarter of a mile, turn right. So we are going to go up that road. I initially started to go up to Park City. I don't think you could take an RV on it. It looks pretty In steep. Feet, turn right to East Big Cotton, I wouldn't Canada take an RV on it. Doesn't look very wide either. Turn right to East Big Cotton with Canyon Road. In one third of a mile, turn side right. Wow. This this area is incredible. In I see why they had the Olympics. Mile, turn slight right to South Drive and Pat Road. It's beautiful. Well, I'm glad I drove through Brighton to see there is no camping. Turn flight right to South Guardsman Path Road. So it says it takes me 27 minutes to do 11 miles on this road. Must be amazing. Look at the aspen trees, oh my gosh. To be rich and live here, um... In one quarter of a mile, keep right. In 500 feet, keep right to East Park and Path Road.
the road actually gets better, it looks like. That first part just looks really sketchy. It's so steep and narrow. So this is the back roads to Park City. Most people take the Highway 89, I think. Um, I wonder if in the winter this road is probably closed, I would think. There's a gate I just went through. Can't imagine um, it's open. so good. I really want to find a place around here if I can. I will find an RV park if I have to at this point. There's got to be some in um, Park City. I haven't looked at that app yet with, that shows RV parks. I'm only doing the free camping app. So it's mainly, you know, Forest Service, BLM. Wow. My wife came to the Olympics here in, was it 2000? Very lucky she did that. She, that was smart of her. She came with a like a group, tour group she signed up with. In one quarter of a mile, turn right. Turn right east Carson Pass Road. Turn right east Carson Pass Road. Turn right? There, this is, oh, there, you can go straight. I think it's someone's, I think it's a trailhead. I saw a vault toilet, it looked like it. Yeah, this is amazing. Hope this video comes out all right. This Park City must have some of the best snow in the entire country. Wow, it's a drop off on the right. <laughs> My wife would not like this road. Yeah, I would not bring an RV on this road. Uh, I'm surprised there's not a sign. RVs not recommended, no trailers. down to 70. I'm tempted to park in the Walmart parking lot if it's full and just camp there. Especially if the store's open all night. Pretty awesome. I, I would like to try that. Oh, of course, I don't think I can get away drinking beer there. And I do want some beer. Because I this is another beer day for sure. I only had one yesterday because I had no time. I'd like to have like two today. We're gonna be in the 60s soon. It's down to 70. Yeah, you don't see the RV YouTubers do this, and now I see why. I wouldn't do this in my RV. Wow, it's so amazing off to the right. I can't really look though, because I'm trying to watch the road.
So I wonder if we go down to Park City. I kind of hope so, because it's going to be really cold up here. I hope we're going over a mountain pass. Wow. Here's another. Viewpoint. Jeez, road narrows. Use lower gear. Wow, we are going down. 10% grade. Ah, oh, it's only a mile and a half. Oh, I do got that sound. I wonder if I broke something and what punctured my tire was a bolt from my car. I hope it wasn't the guy that lifted it up that changed the tire. It sounds like a suspension noise. I might try and find a Chevy dealer. I don't want it to get worse if it is something important. Just don't know what it is. It could be, I mean, I could have damaged something, rattled something loose with all those washboards I was on. Wow, here's a giant parking lot for something. Bloods Lake Trailhead. doesn't always make the noise, which is weird. I don't know what would cause that. Unless something did come loose and um, it's moving around, you know, it's not secure. I don't, the suspension feels fine though, but I don't know what's all down there. Like right now, I don't hear it. At all. Totally went away. I might have to get my head down in there and try and look. Or definitely go to a Chevy dealership and have them take the tire off. And It should be obvious if something's missing a bolt. Oh, wow. Which way? I think I go this way. Oh, I could have went either way. I want to go the other way. This way it looks more um, switchbacky and steep. That way it looks easier. And I'm all about easy right now. Probably have access to more trails. If you go this little detour away. 
in 400 feet, turn right to Utah 224. I'm surprised there was no um, sign like telling you which way to go. Turn right to Utah 224. <laughs> be somewhere. Today was another stressful day, especially with this noise. I still have this noise. Yeah, this is this is just so amazing. I I can't get over all of the um trails and stuff. Oh my gosh, I wonder if you could camp here. I don't want to... Oh, I can turn in here. This would be a fun spot. Turn left to West Bonanza Ridge Road.